Well, Dave and Brianne, some of us are old enough to remember what this night used to be like, like myself growing up on the east side, but the mayor and the chief of police stating Detroit is no longer that city. It's roll call tonight at Cobo Hall. Okay, fire net team two. For Angels Night 2016. Officer Hassan Harani. The goal? Keep the city safe on a night historically known as Devil's Night. There's a spirit of pride in the city. Mayor Mike Duggan praising the thousands of volunteers, Detroit Fire and Police, and of course the residents. And when you're proud of your neighborhood, you watch out for it, and you're seeing neighbors all over the city who are being very vigilant. How about these high schoolers, fire cadets from Cody High, eager to protect their city? Just thinking about my family, you know, that the opportunity to, for me to be that firefighter that comes to save them in any accident, any emergency. The city has come a long way since former mayor Dennis Archer declared Devil's Night as Angel's Night back in 1994. And the numbers prove it. Devil's Night 1984, the city was literally burning. 810 fires. 2015, only 52. Across town at the 11th Precinct, police chief James Craig hosting a haunted house for kids says the city of Detroit has emerged from the ashes of Devil's Night. Here we turned a negative situation that went on for many years into, into something so positive. Back here live now, the mayor and the chief stating these few days known as Angels Night, they'd like to transform into something of a Halloween celebration for kids and residents like what's happening here at the 11th Precinct. Live in Detroit, Gino Vici, 7 Action News.